Hello, this is Kaz Blue, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time, we did a snowboard escape. Or something like that. This time, we are going right. Ta-da! No. Uh, oh. I guess it's time to battle Rue. Uh, oh. Okay. No back attack, please. Did I ever put Baron on the back row? I think I may have forgotten to do that. Well, he's on the back row now, I suppose. <laughs> okay, that laser gun is actually pretty cool. I, I cannot... I can't say otherwise. <laughs> Cloud's sword, on the other hand, I think he's trying a little too hard. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot to do that. Okay, there we go. Now then. This should hopefully take me to... Wait a second. Oh, come on! Okay. This should be the, uh... Hmm. Okay, this should be the mountainous area to the right of that tree. Now that I'm here, uh, I believe I want to go this way. This place is actually legitimately pretty mazy, so it's pretty easy to get lost. Um, like. Knowing how to use that map is actually really helpful, but even so, there's a few places where you can only go in one direction, and that's totally not on the map. Uh, at least, so, at least you get hidden stuff, well, 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 let's put it this way. I put a fair bit of planning into this to make sure that I didn't spend way too long here. Because there isn't really that much stuff here, but it is, if... It's quite easy to get turned around and end up spending, sort of, dragging your heels here. Like, it's not a spot that will always drag, but it's easy for it to start doing so. Which can be a little bit frustrating. Um, mostly though, doesn't really make a very good viewing. Well, I say, I say that, actually I say that, but truth be told, it is at least as much for my own benefit as for yours. Um, because in my this is an area that always drags out in my memory as being long, and it's really and it really isn't that large an area if you do it quickly. Well, no duh. No, it's not really that large an area if you do everything in the right order. Hello, ad cut! This is one of the most overpowered weep, uh, well, materia in the game. Uh, we're gonna put it on Barret because he has counterattack. Uh, and also, he does, he does need the, actually he needs limit breaks more than kills. Hmm. I guess Tifa does as well, though. Screw it, we're gonna put it on Cloud. Cla well, Cloud already has the element power, though. Yeah, no, we will put it on you. Uh, goodbye, Ephraim, I think? I mean, you don't really need MP+, plus, let's be honest here. Add cut. Oh, no, that is not what I thought it was. I mean, it's still a really powerful material, just I got it slightly mixed up. Okay, uh, I could pair that with counterattack, I think? But, no, maybe maybe not. I don't think that would work. No. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pair it. I could actually pair it with Steel. Uh, then if I had Mug, that'd be awesome. But no, I'm actually gonna pair it with Death Blow. Uh, I don't really need Heal All. At least not right now. <laughs> then again, I don't really want to get rid of any of this stuff. Damn it! I didn't think this through! Okay, I can give heal to Barret because he still doesn't need freaking MP plus. 
Uh, wait, no, but Cloud has the ribbon, doesn't he? Yeah, Cloud should really have heal. Because he is not susceptible to that bullshit. Um, hmm. Really didn't think this all the way through. Uh, right. No, you should have revive as well for the same reason you should have healed. Damn it! Okay. You know what? I don't. Well, I need Death Blow to pair with the freaking thing in the first place, though. Uh, okay. I will give Steel to Tifa. No, I'll give Steel to Barret. Because he, again, MP+. Plus. Um. So now I have a free slot. And I can put in MP. I can put in Death Blow and Add Cut. Which. Actually, I got confused with a different materia. Uh, Ad Cut is still super good. Just, it's not amazing. Uh, wait a second. What the hell? Oh, I took out freaking MP+. Plus. Durr. So, Steel went here. I had an all materia, though. That's what, that's what happened. Okay. No, I'm just incompetent. Got it. Hmm, double mug. I'm gonna need to try that at some point. Like, obviously I'm a ways away yet, although I'm closer to it than I am away from it. In any case, we'll, we'll try this out. This would actually be really good with Vincent, now that I think about it. Vincent and late game Tifa. But b because Vincent has the perfect accuracy of Wii Funds. Uh, okay, so, this brought us to a hot spring! Look at it. Look at that hot spring. Okay, I need to actually uh, interact with the hot spring. There we go. Touch it! Touch it! That should totally heal you. I mean, it doesn't, but it should. Okay, now that I've done that, uh, I believe I want to go back the way I came. <laughs> uh, okay, no, that's... that's weird. Uh, that is, like, deliberately disorienting right there. Now, the trick, I think, is gonna be, it might do something weird with the angle, but nope. I did come from a different area, though, you see. Both of these pa upper paths lead to that hot spring, but only the upper right one can you can get the add materia. The add cut materia on. Now, let's see. The tree was this way. Uh... I actually want to go back to the freaking tree. <laughs> that is so stupid. Unfortunately, there is no... There's no good way to do all of these in a straight line. Some... At least a little bit of backtracking is uh, required. Um, actually... Actually, I say that, but... Had I landed on the bottom right, I could have done this with less backtracking. I think no less ground covered. I would have covered the same amount of ground no matter what, but it would have been a little bit less backtracking had I done it that way. Just because the order would have been a little bit different. I mean, the order would have been the same, just basically I would have just started in a different place. That would have been the only difference. I would have started one under te uh, the, this intersection instead of one to the left of it. In any case, now I want to go down. Cut. Actually, no, don't cut! I need to show off the double cut. I probably won't hit with, you know, death blow, but... Oh no, I totally hit with death blow. And I got a cut again! That is so good. Although Cloud may ha- although if I use it a lot, Cloud- Damn it, Steam! I need to disable those notifications. Uh, whatever, I'll do it after this. Hopefully no one messages me. Why would I even fucking say that? I mean, someone's definitely gonna do it now. Okay! Next area! We're here. A game? Man? Bag attack is strong with these. Change places! Hmm. 
I really do think I need to try that mug thing. Like, I really want to do that now, but I'm a ways away from being able to. Also, I don't think it would actually, in the long run, I know that... What is it even called? Obviously not ad cut. The other one that lets you attack more is probably better. And I don't think you can use them both in conjunction, although maybe you can, and then that would be totally awesome. More research is required. Incidentally, we are walking to that island in the middle of the lake there. Uh, as you can see, the water is not actually completely frozen here. Uh, check it out. Yeah, okay. So basically, the ones next to you will uh, toggle. That's how this works. We want to get to the other end. I believe that one is okay. Uh, doesn't really matter. Wait, no. Does it matter? It, it does, actually. No, it doesn't! Did that matter or not? I'm, I'm not even really sure. Whatever. We can go like this way, and then across, and then we're here! I don't... I do not believe that is the only way to solve that. Um, it is the way that I happen to have written down. <laughs> Actually, sort of, more or less true. Uh, in here, there is a safety bit, which I believe protects against instant death. Sudden death and petrify and slow numb. Whatever the hell slow numb is. Maybe slow numb is actually just um, doom? That, that would make sense. It's probably doom. In any case, it, prote it protects against instant death effects. Which is pretty useful. Some of the time. Not right now, obviously. Also, the ribbon is probably better. But, nice to have. All the same. Uh, okay. So, I think these things are hilarious, but it really... The thing that gets me is they're... They are clearly robots! Like, look at it! It's a robot! <laughs> but no, it's an ice golem. They made it really small, so it's harder to tell that it's a robot. I mean, the color doesn't even look like ice. Not really, anyway. It look- it def- I mean, it sort of looks more metal than ice-like. That much is for sure. Oh, I need to heal Barret. Wow. Um, I mean, that does happen when he is taking 60% of all attacks. I mean, if Cloud ever gets another turn, he can do it. Just... Stealing isn't... Wait, no. Whoa! Yeah, Cloud can definitely do it. Uh... Heal everyone! Use... Oh, right! Grenade! But okay, if that kills Barret, I'll actually be... Damn it! Using Dolphin Blow, more important than getting a crit with it. I had the damn limit break, too, but no. I just... Barret just died. That is so disappointing. Uh... Cloud, you, I don't care about your limit break, you are reviving Barret. Tifa can hit the guy and hopefully kill him uh, before she, or Barret for that matter, are killed themselves. Okay, now you can use Climb Hazard again? Okay, Barret is actually gonna freaking die. Damn it, Steam! Seriously, I will fix that after this episode. Just. I'm surprised that that's even turned on, because I'm positive I turned it off before. And I don't remember turning it back on, but I don't know. I haven't, re I haven't recorded it for at least a few weeks, so I may, have turned I may have accidentally turned it back on, or maybe Steam did. I don't know. Whatever. So fortunately, getting back is way easier. It is legit just zigzag. 
most of the time you only have one option. Uh, that way. Ta-da! Okay, now, where am I go going to next? Uh, that way. Okay. Now we want to go on to the bottom left. Which will be a bit of a detour, but I mean it's a detour no matter what. Strictly speaking, we could have just gone north from the hot spring and been pretty much done. But that would be been skipping a lot of stuff. Okay, I still want to actually see what the hell I can steal from these guys. Also, I want to see see use this ice laser again. Because, you know, it's totally not- oh, it's just a high potion. Totally not a robot! Do robots use lasers? Hell no. I mean, seriously, who are you trying to kick? That is so good! All, although it- I will admit, it is a robot that can be poisoned. Which is a little bit odd, but on the other hand, I would not expect an ice golem to be poison apple either. So, it's odd either way. I mean, ice is presumably no more susceptible to poison than metal, so... You know, well, I mean, if we're going by Pokemon logic, that's not true, but this is not Pokemon. Not yet, anyway. Okay, I believe I just passed through the intersection. Uh, no, clearly not, because- wait. Can I... Okay. Yeah, I did pass through the intersection. Now I'm at the bridge tree, and I want to go north. Oh, you know what? That's a signpost, isn't it? Not a tree. It looks like a tree on the map, but... It's a really weird-looking sign, so you'll forgive me. Oh, and we collapsed. Every time. Every single time. I don't think you even do... I don't think... I actually don't think it's possible to do all of this uh, without collapsing at least once. I mean, I suppose if you cheesed it a little bit by going in and out of the area, uh, you could, because that resets the collapse counter, but barring that... It's a miracle you're alive! My name's Puzzlock. Been living here 20 years now. Are you planning to head north? You better listen to me. Okie dokie. Uh. Oh, I see. Oh, this is the guy. This is the husband of the wife that. You. You have been really bad to your wife. Man. <laughs> Yes, actually. First time my friend Yamsky and I tried to climb the cliff was over 30 years ago. But we weren't prepared for it. Never dreamed the temperature would be so low. That cliff has a biting cold wind that lowers your body temperature. Yamsky was below me. He cut his own rope. I didn't even notice. I've lived here ever since, challenging the cliff and providing warning and shelter to my fellow climbers. If you're going to climb the cliff, you'll need to take two precautions. First, check your route. It's hard to find because of all the snow. I'm pretty sure that's square to raise your body temperature. Second, warm yourself up once you get to a ledge. Ah, uh, yes I do. You must be tired coming all the way up here. Better get some rest before you head out. Awesome. But we're actually not going to head up the cliff because it we're we're not done in the Great Glacier. Although, look at the time, we are done with the episode. So join me next time when we hopefully finish the Great Glacier stuff. Until then, this has been Kiss Blue and have a great day. Bye.